there are major risks affecting transgender issues in relation to young people. We're not talking about a way of life or sexual preferences, but serious potential life or altering medical or surgical intervention. Our former colleague, Baroness Ruth Rendell, campaigned against female genital mutilation and helped introduce laws that made an offence to send a child abroad for this procedure. I wonder what she would have thought about prescribing pills to a 16-year-old, which could lead to infertility, loss of sexual function and physical complications without very thorough advice and counselling. Mm. And at an age where the decision to end the possibility of childbearing is surely too young. And I should know. Just as some people are sure from an early age that they're gay or they'd be happier in another gender, I always knew I would never have a child. But it took until I was 26 before a surgeon was willing to take the step beyond just taking the pill. And even then, he took me to a psychiatrist for an assessment before he actually booked an anaesthetist. And that was only to tie my tubes. I don't regret the psychiatrist, and nor do I think it was inappropriate. And I was 26 at the time, not 16. Puberty blockers, which are given off license, they've not been licensed for transitioning children. Uh, they're the same drug as we use for chemical castration. This is wholly more significant than just tube tying. Yet this bill risks criminalising any psychiatrist, therapist, teacher, doctor, perhaps a parent or a church minister who seeks to engage with that youngster and test their request to transition. But the idea that we criminalise discussion, uh, which explores the reason for the desire for change and which checks that the young person fully understands the impact of physical change, possible, probable loss of childbearing and sexual function, probably before they've even enjoyed good sex. Now that is ludicrous. Informed consent, especially at 16, needs complete understanding. 16-year-olds can't vote. They can't have a tattoo until they're 18. They can't marry until they're 18. So while we believe that marriage, which can be undone, we've already had examples of that, uh, can't take place uh, until they're 18, we seem content for a 16-year-old to risk their future without the benefit of talking therapy to ensure they understand the risks. My friend's daughter started hormone treatment at 16. Within months, her voice, her voice had broken and she will have a man's voice now for the rest of her life, from age 16. It is this unquestioning, affirmative approach which is not open-minded, and it's at odds with standard practice in all other clinical encounters. My fear, despite what the noble lady, Lady Burt says, is that this fear bill will outlaw, outlaw anything other than unquestioning, affirmative treatment and I could not support it in its present form.